Torah TV. The world is thinking. So, I've talked about listening. Should we broadcast? If everybody's listening and nobody's broadcasting, it isn't going to work really well. Well, we took this up at the SETI Institute. We had some workshops to figure out what we should do for the next two decades. And there are these awkward questions. All right, who should speak for Earth and what should they say? And that's if we decide to broadcast, because there are some people who say, oh no, don't do that. If you're in the jungle at night, you don't shout because the tigers might come and eat you up. And there are some people who worry that all extraterrestrials out there might not be benign. Problem is, it's too late. We've been broadcasting radio and, and television for quite some time now, and so that horses out of the barn. All right, um, if you're going to transmit and you intend to have it make an effect, um, it's got to be a long-term commitment. Now, we don't do really well on 10-year projects. Sometimes we can do two-year projects. But as a species, as humans, we're not real good at 10,000-year projects or 100,000-year projects. Um, and we don't have any global governance. We don't really have any cooperative um, ability to speak for the planet. So at least at the SETI Institute, we've decided um, not yet. Let's grow up a while. We're an emerging technology. We're about the youngest technology in the galaxy that could have any chance of having an interstellar com uh, conversation. So let's grow up and then we should begin to transmit. So what we're hoping is that there are some grown-ups out there. <laughs>